to share more about vision and programming possible through the project through Project Neptune and the center, I'd like to direct your attention to the screen for a brief video from Dr. Mason. Hello, my name is Dr. Sherry Mason. I also go by Sam. I'm the newly appointed director of Project Neptune. Unfortunately, I can't be with you today because I'm traveling out of the country, but I look forward and appreciate the opportunity to speak with you and look forward to engaging with your feedback. The center is being located within the Blasco Library, and I think that's central to the importance of what the center represents. It is an education and research center that is connected to the water and is about water quality and water research. Patrons to the library come into the library. They can immediately interact with the freely available and readily accessible um, exhibit space that will be open anytime the library is open. This will allow a way for the community and visitors to our area to immediately engage and learn about Lake Erie, the Great Lakes, and how water connects us all to each other. The location within the library is also instrumental to the educational portion of the center because the library already receives uh, busloads of 80 to 150 students at a time coming during the academic year to the library for programming. It's so many students that the library has been collaborating with the Hagen History Center and the Maritime Museum in order to break the larger cohort into smaller clumps of students that can uh, rotate between different um, exhibits. And so our center can immediately become part of that rotation where we're engaging the students within our exhibit space, the science on the sphere, and hands-on activities um, through um, our waterfront location. Outside of the academic year, um, we have a great opportunity to train teachers uh, following the model of the research vessel, the Lake Guardian. Um, teachers, there's a new standard coming down the pipeline called STEEL. Um, this is requ requirement for all teachers, K through 12. Um, and an implicit part of these new um, requirements is what are called MEVs, that is Meaningful Watershed Educational Experiences. And they have to be integrated into the curriculum at multiple points through that K through 12 education. These new standards become effective in 2025 to 2026, and teachers need to be educated in how to do these meaningful water, watershed education experiences. We can offer that, especially through our collaborations with agencies like the Pennsylvania Sea Grant. In addition, outside of the academic year, I'm picturing all sorts of um, shipboard science activities, summer camps, um, and including the community on single day or multi-day excursions out into Presque Isle Bay and Lake Erie. Um, in these kind of experiences, we can go out, we can throw secchi discs, we can trawl for fish, we can collect water samples, and then we can bring those samples into our wet lab and our research and education laboratory space in order to examine those samples in more depth. So we can do fish dissections and look at plankton under microscopes and engage the community in water quality measurements. As we're doing these experiences as well, I picture us creating certain places within Presque Isle Bay and Lake Erie where we're collecting these samples and so then we're also building out this research experience. And the community and the kids and the faculty all become part of this. Um, so we're collecting samples at certain points in time and over certain spaces and doing this consistently over months and years and decades. This kind of consistent monitoring is not currently happening within Presque Isle Bay or Lake Erie. And so then this adds to that research component of the center and also makes us very attractive in terms of grant funding to support all of the work that we're doing. I've said this before and I will continue to say this. I'm going to beat this drum. The future of Erie is blue. And this center, under the leadership of Gannon University, is bringing that to us. It's an amazing opportunity for us to recognize that as we care for the environment, as we understand our implicit connection to the environment, it's not only good for us as a people, but for our economy and our community. Thank you so much for your time.